committee meeting. I get a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are moving on to F, Commendations Education Spotlight. Dr. Adams. so many people here tonight, especially since we have such fine young athletes and students to commend. So thank you so much for coming tonight. Our first commendation will be for our sharpshooters. So each year since 1993, the town of Islip hosts a sharpshooter basketball contest sponsored by Islip's Department of Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs. The sharpshooter challenge encourages children in our local schools to improve their basketball skills while serving as a reminder to just say no to drugs. The initial competition takes place during our physical education classes where students are given the chance to score as many baskets as possible in one minute. First place finishers in fourth and fifth grade advance to the finals where they compete against each other and other first place winners, winners throughout the town of Islip. So this year we actually had two sharpshoot winners and they're in Mr. Pollock's school. So I don't know if Mr. Pollock is in the room and would like to come on down and help me hand out the certificate. Okay, um, so I'm going to ask uh, Julia Zachman from the Sycamore Avenue School and Carson Tiracini from the Sycamore Avenue School. <laughs> How you guys doing? I'm Mr. Procaccini, uh, a.k.a. Mr. Pro. I'm very honored because I've been at this school for 20 years, and I think only one other time have we had two first place winners uh, to represent Sycamore in our sharpshooter contest, which is Islip, Town of Islip contest. And I'm very proud to be here with you. Um, Mr. Pollock would want to be here too, but I'm very happy to be up here with you, and I would like to personally congratulate you. Well, you everything you know, right? Andrew is not only a leader within the elementary school, 
but he's also a great community helper. This year he volunteered at the Suffolk County Marathon, handing out water to the runners at the halfway point of the race. He participates in all of our community service projects in the building, including food drives, collections for the animal shelter, and collections of toilet chairs for local families in need. He is always thinking of others within our community. He's an upstanding citizen of the Oakdale community, and we are very proud of him at the ILL Elementary School. This year was 13-3 and uh, qualified for the Suffolk County Duels. Only 16 out of 50 teams qualified. And uh, when we went to the meeting, they gave us the 13th seed in the 16-team tournament. Uh, but the guys would have none of that. And they wrestled all the way to the final four. And they did a great job. Thank you. I'll quickly say a word about each guy. Down the end, uh, Stephen can take a step forward. He set a new school record for wins this year for a freshman. He also tied for most pins uh, with one of our seniors. He's a league champion as a freshman, and he's all county as a freshman, which is very rare. It's only been done three times at Kamekwa, and the first time it was done by Coach Melfi in 1982. <laughs> Say a word about these three gentlemen individually. I want to talk about the three of them very quickly as a group because this has never been done before. All three wrestlers who are seniors are members of the Suffolk County Century Club. Their combined win total at Connecticut High School, which they might not even know, is 343 victories for these three gentlemen. Danny tied for most pins with our freshman down there, Stephen. Uh, Danny is a two-time league champion, two times all county, and next year he will wrestle for Nassau Community, which is one of the top junior college programs in the country. <laughs> Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey held the freshman record for four years until Stephen down there broke it. <laughs> Watch out for Steven. Right. Uh, Jeffrey still holds the junior record for most wins. Uh, he's a two-time league champion. He's a two-time World County wrestler. And in 2016 was all state. Uh, but as a teacher, uh, I think the thing Connecticut could be most proud of, and Jeffrey's been talking to me about this for a couple of years, he has a goal to improve the environment. He's going to be attending next year the Environmental College of Science and Forestry. And you know what? With uh, young people like Jeffrey taking over, we're in good shape. <laughs> Last but not least, Paul North. Paul got further than anyone else on the team this year. Paul is a county finalist. He is a three-time league champion, which is extremely rare. Uh, he is a two-time old <coughs> county wrestler. He'll be joining uh, Danny at Nashville Community College next year. And he has the highest winning percentage on the team. And forget all those baseball things you hear about. His winning percentage is .904. <laughs> Thank you guys, congrats. 
Gabriella Molinero, Emily 
Palazzano. Victoria Peterson. Emma Schoker. Stephanie Sussman. The uh, Board of Ed, Dr. Adams, for having us here tonight. Uh, this year, boys' varsity swimming, uh, in my eyes, is a very, very successful season. Uh, we went from League Two to League One this year in a very, very competitive league, and our boys finished up five and three. Finished uh, eighth in the county out of over 30 high schools in Suffolk County. Uh, but more importantly, our gentlemen won the Sportsmanship Award for the second year in a row. So, uh, wins and losses, to me, that's more important. Last year they won the Officials uh, Sportsmanship Award, and this year they won it for the entire League One. So, very proud of you, gentlemen. That comes up. At this time, I'll call up the boys and I'll talk about a uh, specific gentleman. Uh, Maverick Rice. Uh, Nick Pizzo. Uh, Christian Ortiz. We have Stephen O'Connor. We have Giddy. He's Giddy here tonight. Uh, just a quick story about Giddy. He's not here tonight, but he's my success story. Uh, last year, I came onto the team and said, Coach, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> All right, you're coming out for a varsity team. That's great. <laughs> but lo and behold, he made us so proud. His team members behind him pushed him through. And just an example, he started off the season going a minute and 20 seconds for two laps of the pool. Got himself down to 39 seconds after the season. So, really awesome. And that's because his teammates were behind him 110%. Uh, Blake, he goes. Nick Morano. Patrick Luce. James Llewellyn. Dean Klingel. Uh, Mike Dom. <laughs> Kenneth Dow. <laughs> John Cudia. <laughs> Joey Cooch. <laughs> Anthony Cuccinello. Uh, Paul Chang. Danny Bach. Uh, Dylan Maseko. Cole Andre. Uh, 
talk louder for me. Kyle Andre. They are twins, yes. Tommy Luce. Frank Messina. Mike Agrillo. You're a very small team, so I feel Joey Amarendo. And last, Grady Olsen. All right, this year uh, we had some gentlemen who received some great honors. Uh, we had a relay that was all league and that consisted of Mike Agrillo, step forward Mike, Grady Olsen, Frank Messina, and Tommy Luce. That was our 200 freestyle relay. And then we also had a 400 freestyle relay that was all league and Mike was back down that and Del Maseko came in and that's our only qualifier. We also had a all-county qualifier and that is Grady Olson. He was uh, top in the county in 100 butterfly and he also achieved uh, all-state. Grady went up to the uh, state meet uh, and luckily the state meet was here in Long Island at Eisenhower Park. And then a week later, goes to a club meet and qualifies for Junior Nationals held in Orlando, Florida. So what a great honor that was for Grady. Uh, I guess we're missing some, sorry. Uh, Tommy Trick, come on up. Gabe Smith. John Sanzion. I apologize. And Johnny Tate, come on up. All right, I'm gonna have to start all over. I'm sorry, here we go. Sorry, guys. You'll get your certificate. Uh, but again, a uh, very successful season for the boys' varsity. The good thing is we're a very, very young team, and uh, I look forward to our future. And gentlemen, keep it up. I'd like to thank the parents. You know, that sportsmanship means a lot to me and to Coach O'Rourke here. Um, so thank you for raising such fine gentlemen. We really do appreciate that. And I don't want to forget, uh, this is Coach O'Rourke, one of our Connecticut's alumni, who dove for us years ago. And we also had two top 16 divers, Cole and Kyle Andre, to step forward. Gave us numerous points in the county meet. So thank you for your time, and once again, congratulations, Dylan. Appreciate it. I got you on video. I just knocked down my thing. Oh, they're going to break it. I'm up here to represent the girls' winter track team. Uh, this is my 37th year coaching the team. They're so at all, I can't figure it out. Uh, uh -huh. 
a lot of work. Great season. Um, couldn't have gone much better. We were the League Two champions, breaking a 25-plus straight year for uh, straight championships for Bayshore, the longest in Suffolk County history. They had won the league's 25 years, not always our league, and uh, it was a big honor for us and really a great accomplishment to win the leagues. We came in second place in Suffolk County, and we were consistently ranked second or third on all of Long Island in Nassau, Suffolk, and the Catholics by Newsday, so we stayed second or third the whole time. Uh, we have a very big team. Uh, we have 80-something girls on the team in winter. We have over 100 girls right now on the spring track team. We have our big, our first of our big meets coming up tomorrow. So we don't have many of the girls with us there. We can't win all of them if we don't win the first one tomorrow. So we, uh, did, we, don't, we just have a few of the girls here to kind of represent the other girls. So if a couple of the girls that are here could come up. Winter track girls, come on, come on up. Again, we, would, we barely fit in here if we bring them all, so. They were just the ones nice enough to come for us, thank you. Okay, a couple little honors um, for the girls. We had a New York State champion this year. A sophomore, Emma McLaughlin, won uh, New York State championships in the intersectional relay. Her best sport is actually lacrosse, so that's, that's what she's doing now. Brittany Curtin was a, uh, she was all state in two events, uh, the shot put and the weight throw. She won the Long Island Championship and the Suffolk County Championship in the weight throw. She won the league championship in the shot put. And uh, she was deciding between three colleges, just to give you an idea of her academics. She decided between Brown University, Lehigh, and William & Mary, and she decided to take the scholarship to Lehigh. Brianna Padula, a senior, she was Suffolk County champion in the hurdles. She went to the states in three events, not just the hurdles, but also the 300 meter dash and the triple jump. She was voted Suffolk County MVP. She also won a medal at the states in her main event, the hurdles, and she still is deciding between a few schools that have offered her scholarships, whether it would be LIU Post, Towson, or uh, New Haven, or SUNY Albany, but she's gonna get some money to go to college as soon as she picks one. Uh, here today is Kelly Ioka. Kelly was the league champion and the Suffolk County champion uh, in the 3,000 meters. Kelly is our school record holder in the 3,000. At the state meet, she broke our school record. Uh, qualified for the Penn Relays, the Nationals, and everything else at that race. Uh, she chose from a few schools, and she's got a scholarship to University of Rhode Island. <laughs> Next we go with her little sister, the future. Katie is a ninth grader at the county championship where Kelly came in first out of all of Suffolk County. Katie came in second. <laughs> At that meet, she qualified for the national championships along with her sister, went to the national championships, and it continued to improve her best time at the nationals. <laughs> Other girls who are all league, well, one of them's here, Deanna Beattie is all league in the thousand meters. <laughs> Other more all league girls, Priscilla Downey, uh, Marina Kelly, Brianna Benitez, and Ali Passanante were all voted all league. <laughs> Notice one of the boys track members is, wasn't up on the list, but if we could bring up his coach and have a talk about uh, one of the boys track members. Coach Matt Clements. Less than a year. Um, the team finished up fifth this year in our league, and uh, at, on this team we currently have seven seniors. 
out of uh, 74 athletes. So it's a young team. Christian is one of those seniors. A um, little history on him hurdling this year. He went into the city the week before the county championship. He didn't have the opportunity to compete at the county championship because the week before at the city meet that I brought him to, uh, we were trying to get used to running on that track. That's where the state championship was. Uh, we went there. Christian fell over hurdle, broke his elbow. Oh. Uh, Fortunately, he was able to uh, rest up. Two weeks later, he came back and uh, competed in the state qualifier and was still able to come within four hundredths four hundred of a second of the school record and qualify for the state championship and was still able to compete at the state championship, uh, finishing 13th, I believe, overall. So we're hoping for a positive season for the entire team in the spring and looking forward to a successful spring season with him as well. Christian Bielan. Big round of applause for all our scholar athletes. 